Hi, my name's Rich Richards and I'm the store manager of Innovative Car Audio here in Taylorsville, Utah. Um, our address here is 3901 West, 5400 South. Um, and today we're going to talk about how to uh, bridge an amplifier to run two subs on it. Um, now basically what you do is, is uh, you can use either single or dual voice coil. Uh, these happen to be single voice coil subs and they've got a positive and a negative on each one. And basically, if you look on the amplifier here, you'll see where it actually says bridged. This amplifier uses right positive and left negative. So basically what you do is you would hook the positives together off of these two subs and the negatives together and then off of either, it doesn't matter which sub, but you would hook up another wire that had a positive and negative lead and bring it over here and hook it up positive to the, to the uh, right side and negative to the left side, just like it says here in bridging. And essentially once you've done that, you bridge the amplifier to run two subwoofers. Um, also, um, you can um, actually use one subwoofer and still run the amplifier bridged, and you'd simply just run positive and negative off of the sub to the indicators, which in this case is right positive and left negative. Um, uh, hook it directly to the amplifier, and therefore you've bridged one sub on the amplifier. Actually, here we have two different types of amplifiers. We have a two-channel amplifier, which is bridgeable, and then we have what's called a D-class monoblock. Uh, now, most of these D-class monoblocks only have one positive and one negative. However, Kenwood put two positives and two negatives, um, which would just make it so that you could hook up one sub to each input, but you're still, um, it, it still converts to one channel, so that uh, <clears throat> The, you're getting the total output out of the amplifier as long as you've set it up with the proper impedance subwoofers. Um, the advantages to a D-class monoblock versus a stereo amplifier are a D-class monoblock can actually run at a lower impedance and uh, it, can ha it actually puts out more power and it draws less current from the battery and it doesn't build as much heat. And this is kind of where the industry's gone now is more with the D-class monoblock when it comes to subwoofer amplifiers.